In this video, I'll show you how to translate a WordPress plugin or theme using a .po file, which stands for portable object file. And it contains a list of all the text lines used in the plugin or the theme in the English language. And this is usually provided by the theme or plugin author. So in this video, I'll show you how you can manually translate it or even automatically translate it. And throughout this video, we'll be translating our all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVO. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. This particular video is based on this article here. So if you want to follow along with the written version, I'll leave the link in the description below, or you can just head over to AOVO.com. Go ahead and search for translate a plugin on our blog and you'll be able to find in this particular post okay so let's first head over to our dashboard and to translate a plugin we'll be using the local translate plugin okay so let's head over to our dashboard and let's go ahead and install the required plugin okay so we'll navigate to plugins then we'll click add new and then we just need to search for local translate okay it's this one here okay so that's installed and active so let's navigate over to local translate Okay, and as you can see, I've already previously created a translation for our all-in-one checkout plugin, but I'll show you how you can do so. Okay, so here you'll see all the plugins that we've got currently active and running on our site. And then we can just go ahead and select the plugin that which we want to translate. So for example, we can click on this WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin here. Okay, and then you can just choose the language in which you want to translate it in. Okay, so I'm going to select, let's select German for now. Okay, and then for our translation, we want to store this within the plugin folder. Okay, or you can add it in a custom location or even using the system default. But I'm just going to use it here because this plugin already provides a language folder where we can actually store this. So we'll just click start translating. Okay, and then here it will show all the different text strings that's used in this particular plugin. And then we can just go ahead and translate it accordingly. Okay. So this is the manual way. So for example, where it says coupon code here, here we'll just add the German equivalent. Let's go ahead and check out Google Translate. It will say coupon and let's select German. Okay. So this is the equivalent according to Google. And we can just paste it in here. And then once we finish translating everything, we can just click save changes. And assuming that the WordPress language that you're using is in Germany, then you'll set a change reflect on the plugin wherever this coupon codes use the okay? key. Okay, so we just saved that bit of translation there. But if we wanted to automatically translate all these plugin strings, we can just click auto. And local translate provides a few different providers in which you can use to do the translation. So for example, in my case, I've got Microsoft Translator activated, but I do list a few other providers like Yandex, um, Google Translate, DeepL, and a few others. And they've also got documentation showing you how you can actually enter in your API key. So I'll quickly show you how I entered my API key for Microsoft Translator. Okay, I'm going to navigate over to settings, then API keys. Okay, and then here it's listing all the different translation options, right, along with the link. So you just click on um, whichever one you choose. So for example, mine was Microsoft Translator, and that will walk you through the steps of actually signing up and getting your API key. At the time of recording this, Microsoft Translator does provide one month free trial for you to use their services. Since I signed up more than a month back, my trial has expired, so I won't be able to show you the live auto translate, but I'll quickly walk you through my dashboard and show you where you can get the API key. In your case, just sign up for a trial or a paid plan, and then let's head over to our dashboard. And then you'll have to create an API for their translation service. Okay, so I've already created one. As I said, this was a month ago, so let's click on it and see what's actually going on okay i'm on the free tier but once you copy your api key and then just add it in the local translate you'll have that auto translate option where you can just automatically translate everything i'll quickly show you a language and um, which are automatically translated using microsoft translate okay so let's head back over to our dashboard and i'm going to navigate to plugins again and I'm going to go ahead and click on the all-in-one checkout plugin. 
and here I translated everything to French. So let's click on this French version here. Here you can see everything's been translated to French. So if we change our WordPress default language to French, then we'll be able to see this translation within the all-in-one checkout plugin. And just for reference, let's quickly have a look at the plugin now. So here you can see everything in English. And now when we go ahead and change our WordPress language from English to French, let's save changes. Okay, let's navigate back over to all in one at checkout by AOV up. And here you can see it's in French. Okay. And that's a quick and simple way to translate a plugin or a theme into your local language. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.